Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be learning how we can use higher order constructs in Smart PLS 4. So we move on this software and this is the file which we are working since this online masterclass has been started. So this is model. Now I have changed this model a little bit because this sustainable tourism, it is a second order construct now. So we have uh, environmental conservation, we have uh, community development and we have education. So these three are different dimensions of this variable. Okay, now this construct is formed with three dimensions. The first one is environmental education, community development, and this one is our environmental conservation. Okay, so now let's try to figure out how we can use this higher order construct in Smart PLS. In Smart PLS, Working with higher order construct is very simple. This is a reflective second order construct. It is called second order because it have three dimensions and these dimensions have been measured through multiple items. And these all items are already, if I can show you here, these all indicators which basically form the dimensions of this construct are already uh, loaded on this main construct. So this is called repeated item method. Okay, so all these items has been repeated on sustainable tourism. So what we need to do is we need to work simply. We can work on uh, first with PLS algorithm and then we can work with the factor because um, I'm planning to work with the measurement model first. Okay, so we, we done the analysis and with this analysis, it is being done with this uh, second order construct as well. It's nothing special. It's very simple. Uh, these values are considered as factor loadings and the value should be more than 0.7 and these values are also factor loading and these are your structural relationship. So this is simple. We can work with the higher order construct in this way. So we can open report and in the reports we can remove all these irrelevant uh, data which might be uh, not usable but in most of the cases everything is, is very simple. For example, we are talking about construct reliability. So you can see all these reliabilities are here. Okay, so same uh, we have R square, we have F square, we have discriminant validity now in the discriminant validity we we can also check this is sustainable tourism environmental conservation and these are also included if you want to remove them please go ahead because these are uh, the items the dimensions of sustainable tourism so you can remove them from the analysis community development environmental conservation and environmental education and you can just keep this sustainable tourism in in your case so in this case once you remove this, you will see this uh, problem would be solved. So let me just copy it to the Excel sheet. And it is showing discriminant validity because they are the dimension of the same construct. So that's why it's pretty obvious. They will show you uh, some problem in the discriminant validity. So what we need to do is we need to keep only the main construct and the dimension should be removed. So in this case, I'm going to remove community development, environmental 
conservation and environmental education now this is our main constructs now and from here also I'm going to delete these two okay that's it this is your discriminant validity and you can see that there is no issue of discriminant validity have been found in this uh, analysis so the only problem when you are working with the second order or higher order constructs you need to work with the uh, discriminant validity separately and you need to remove these dimensions because the dimension will create uh, or will cause discriminant validity issue it is very obvious because they are loading the same item so in that case obviously they are uh, producing some issues in discriminant validity so this is how we work with the higher order construct the rest of the criteria are same we can work with the path coefficient we can work with the reliabilities we can work with the skip uh, one minute so we can work with the uh, AVE and all other criteria in the same way the only issue with the discriminant validity and that is logical because the main variable it contains all the items of all the dimension in that case it is pretty obvious it will create discriminant validity issue so we need to remove that uh, you know dimensions from the discriminant validity and if you want to make your analysis consistent you can just remove these dimensions from all the uh, measurement models and also uh, you can work with the structural model because it's very clear we are uh, you know looking at only path coefficients of uh, main dimension but these dimensions they don't have path coefficient because they are uh, talking about the factor loading and then we can remove them from analysis that's it this is how we work with the uh, higher order construct so no matter how many orders of this construct for example if if this environmental conservation it can also have multiple indicators so uh, multiple dimensions so you can work with the second or third order uh, constructs as well it's it's no problem in the same way with the repeated item you can move on and loop them in the uh, latent construct and uh, do the analysis but remember if you remove any item from here for example if this item let's consider this item is showing uh, low factor loading so I have to remove it so once I remove this from uh, factor loading and I remove this item from environmental education obviously I need to remove this item from the main latent construct sustainable tourism as well so this is repeated item method that's it this is how we work with the higher order construct it's very simple and very easy in uh, smart PLS so there is nothing special simple repetition of the item can do your work thank you very much and have a very nice day